Hey everyone, it's Muzz again, and it's time to teach you how to fight with Morningstar. I think Kabam did a really good job with this champ. She's not super duper crazy OP and gonna ruin the whole game for everyone that doesn't have her, but she does represent a new approach to questing, where you have to think about what you're doing in the beginning, and then you get to reap the benefits for the rest of the quest. For this video, instead of chopping up the footage, I'm gonna have you guys follow along with me on a quest. We're doing the expert quest on the hard path, and this way, you'll be able to see how the new persistent charge mechanic evolves throughout multiple fights. You always start the first fight with one soul, by assuming it's your own. But we also have a synergy with Guillotine, which allows us to start the first fight with two souls. So we're already ahead. I got that power gain buff by landing a heavy attack. That's how I like to start every fight. The more souls you have, the faster you'll gain power. But even with her maximum of five souls, it's not super fast. What it does though is make it easier to reach L3 before the end of a fight when you're up against a weaker opponent. You can only capture one soul per fight, and each one grants you another ability plus more damage from your special attacks. Her level 3 attack starts the soul stealing, and you gain this buff that goes up or down with damage. If it reaches 100, you'll gain that soul and its benefits during that fight. If it drops to 0, you'll lose it, but as long as the counter's active when you finish the fight, you'll carry that soul on to the next fight. So now we're going into this fight against Jane Foster with three souls instead of two. Start with a parry and BAM! Got the heavy attack, now I have a power game buff. Whenever you have less than five souls, the goal for the fight is simple. Get to L3, steal their soul, and knock them out so you can keep it. By the way, since I have Mephisto on the team, we're starting each fight with one bar of power which is why we got to L3 so quickly. Now I've chosen to bait out her level 2, because right after we land our level 3 attack, we have to hit her a bunch of times to build the counter up, and we don't want to push her into the red. I know some of this might seem overwhelming or confusing, and you're going to make mistakes, but you'll figure it out in no time. Does anyone else think it's kind of jacked up that you're stealing somebody's soul and then beating them with it? What's the rating of this game anyways? Okay, what next? Let's talk about the benefits that you gain from each soul. If you have one soul and get hit, you have a 50% chance of causing them to bleed, but it's only up to one stack, over five seconds. If you have two souls, you'll also get an unstoppable buff for two and a half seconds after your level one attack. Then, at three souls, your L2 becomes unblockable, which I admit has saved my butt a couple times. Morningstar is bleed immune, but she's not poison immune, so let's skip over this fight. So we left off at three souls. That's all great stuff, but it's really at four and five souls where it gets super interesting. The fourth soul gives you a huge boost in energy resistance and an awesome 50% perfect block chance, which I plan on testing thoroughly. I'll make another video later if I come up with anything awesome. Then, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, at five souls, you have a 20% chance with every hit to lifesteal 50% of the damage. Let's fast forward on this quest till we have five souls so you can see what we're talking about. Wolverine, hey, this is a perfect opportunity to change gears and talk about her signature ability. Once awakened, Morningstar automatically weakens any fury, power gain, or regeneration buffs triggered by her opponent. And she gains the same buff for herself for 15 seconds. Or 20% longer with Angela on the team. You see it working here with the regeneration buff triggered by Wolverine. And you can also see that lifesteal triggering over and over from the fifth soul. All right, so now we're later in the quest and we got our five souls. What's the strategy for doing the most damage we possibly can? Well, that depends on your opponent. If the champ you're fighting against doesn't have, say, two or more buffs, 
then her L1 is definitely going to do the most damage. Let me explain. It happens really fast, so here's a slow motion clip of her level 1 special. What you see is us getting energy damage multiplied by our 5 souls for each hit, and the second one crits for a total damage of 11,035. That's a lot for a level 1 special from a rank 3 5 star. So let's jump forward to the level 2 special attack and see how it compares. Alright, so we got a nice crit and 8,445 damage. That's about 2,600 less damage points than the special 1. However, her level 2 has a secret weapon. It has a 100% chance to nullify all buffs and convert them into energy damage per hit. With my rank 3 5 star, that would have been 2,847 more damage points per buff nullified. Ha! You think that's confusing? You can use L1 twice as often as you can L2, but if you have Mystic Dispersion and you're nullifying a lot of buffs, you get the power right back and you get L2 and then L2 immediately again, and it's unblockable. Ow! I think I just broke something in my brain. Seton was right when he compared her to Ghost Rider. There's got to be a way to make this easier. Actually, I'm just being overly dramatic. You just do both. If they have two or more buffs, you use L2. If they don't, you use L1, you do the most damage. I've only had her in my roster for one day, and it already feels natural to do it. As you can see here, when we jump to the final fight of this quest against Crossbones. And while you check out this fight, let me just say thanks for sticking with me this far. This is the longest video I've ever made. I'd also like to take a minute and just send a shout out to Brian Grant. His video on Morningstar is great and you should check it out. I think he nailed it. And he's right. Morningstar might not be for everybody. I personally went for her because I've got Angela and Magic as R4s. The synergies are amazing for all three champions. You'll just have to judge for yourself. Happy grinding. Buzz out.